War richtig simpel. Wie geht's? Gut, bei dir. Gut. Oh. Wie war der andere da? Wie? Normal day when I go for sports photography, I would normally use my uh, Tamron. This this Tamron serves me well, and then I think it's fair now for a fair price. I use it on my XH1, if you be. And uh, I just start off trying and experimenting with my Vitrox Autofocus uh, 75 because. I had this for a while and I use it for portraits and I just wanted to see what it's going to look like uh, in, a, in the sports arena and trying to take a shot of the players while they train because I know I cannot take an actual football game with this uh, with, with, with this setup and uh, uh, just a little behind the scenes of how the photos Now my opinion on on the Vitrox 75 uh, with regards to soccer or any sport, I think it would be fair enough to say if you have the opportunity of getting closer to the players and having to get, then I can assure that you will get good shots because taking distance shots, I mean they are sharp enough, they are really sharp, good images, but I think there's that's there's that uh there's, there's that beauty in the photo being able to be zoomed in enough that you get the player but if you want to show like everything happening around the arena and not just the player being the star of the photo then it's cool i mean depending on what you want to get it's cool like it's beautiful but i wouldn't recommend this as a to replace uh, regular zoom lens yes if you have the opportunity of getting into the team and getting like real closer into people's faces and taking that uh deep shots that speaks a lot then it's it would be super great fortunately i didn't have that uh that opportunity of getting into them and and you know this like movements it could be disturbing so I wouldn't recommend it for sport, but I would recommend it for taking like behind the scenes and all that stuff. It would be really cool. Yeah, that was it. See you.